Hi Emma, could you please do, perform an abdominal examination on Ray for your finals examination please? Yeah, that's Thank fine. you. Hello, my name's Emma Cameron. I'm one of the fifth year medical students. Can I ask your name please? My name is Raymond Diallo. Okay, hi, nice to meet you Raymond. I've been asked to examine your abdomen today, which would just involve me having a look and feel and a listen of your tummy. Is that okay? Sure. Have you got any pain in the stomach at all? No, I don't. And if it's all right with you, as I'm going through the examination, I'll just talk back to my examiner, explain the kind of things that I'm looking for and what I'm doing. Sure. Okay. So I'll just start by having a look at you from the end of the bed. Ideally, for an abdominal examination, I'd have you exposed from nipples to knees, um, but I can leave you covered up for now, and I'll have a look at your abdomen more closely later. Okay. All right. So I can see that you're comfortable at rest. Okay. Can I start by having a look at your hands? So I'm looking at the hands, especially at the nails. I can get any clubbing, any coilonychia, sign of iron deficiency, or leukonychia, hypoalbuminemia. Okay, that's great. You could turn your hands over for me. I'm looking for any palmar erythema or Jupiter's contracture. Okay, brilliant. I'm just going to take your pulse. Thank you. Now, if you could put your hands out in front of you, like you're stopping traffic for me, and hold them there. So here I'm looking for a liver flap, and I'd ask you to hold them there for 30 seconds. That's you fine. You can relax them down now. I'm going to move on to having a look in your eyes and your mouth. So I'll start with your eyes, if you can look at me. Just having a look around your eyes for any xanthal asthma. Looking in your eyes for any corneal arcus. I'm just going to pull down on your lower lids now. Just looking for any pallor of the conjunctiva. You can look upwards for me, and any yellowing of the sclera. Okay, thank you. You can open your mouth for me now, and stick your tongue out, and lift it to the roof of your mouth. Okay, thank you. So just looking in the mouth for any mouth ulcers, looking at the tongue for any signs of glossitis, um, which would be enlargement of the tongue. Okay, so I'm going to move on to have a feel of some of the glands in your neck, just to check that they're not swollen. Let me know if there's any pain at any point. So I'm going to start with um, submental lymph nodes, moving back to submandibular, feeling for the posterior auricular nodes, and then down the cervical chain, into the supraclavicular nodes, especially the left side, which is also known as Virchow's node. Okay, thank you very much. If you stay sat forward, I'm just going to lie the bed flat now. Are you comfortable lying flat? Absolutely. Okay. If you could lie back down on the bed for me. I'm just going to have a closer look at your abdomen for now. So um, I'm going to start by having a look at your chest. I'm looking for any spider nevae, any gynecomastia, or any hair loss. And then I'm going to ask you to put your arms back behind your head so I can have a look at your underarms. So looking in the axilla for any lymphadenopathy or acanthosis nigran. Okay can relax them back down now and have a closer look at the abdomen for any um, obvious deformities, any visible pulsations or peristalsis, any surgical scars or skin changes such as bruising or erythema abigni. What kind of signs of bruising might you find and can you show me where they would be please? Okay, so um, it, you might find bruising in a retroperitoneal bleed and these might be found in the flanks such as in grey turners or periumbilically, such as in Cullens. Okay, and what might erythema abigni, um, where might that be and what kind of pathology might that indicate? So um, erythema abigni is located sort of in over this area yeah. over the abdomen and it's normally from somebody who suffers from chronic um, pancreatitis and they're holding a um, hot water bottle or something warm close to the abdomen to try and relieve the pain. Okay, so we're gonna move on to having a feel of your abdomen now. So have you got any pain there at all? No, I don't. Okay, so I'll start by feeling lightly first. I'm just going to get down. Okay. Now I'm going to have a deeper feel. Again, let me know if there's any pain at all. All right. OK, 
Okay, brilliant, thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to check for any hernias now. So if you could lift your head off the bed and touch your chin to your chest, please. Okay, and relax down. And if you could just cough for me, please. <coughs> thank you. So now I'm going to have a feel just for some of the organs in your abdomen. So if you can take some breaths in and out for me. So here I'm feeling for the edge of the liver. Okay, carry on taking breaths in and out, please. Feeling over to the left of a quadrant for the spleen. Okay, brilliant. And then if I can just put my hand behind your back, just relax down onto my hand. It's going to block your kidneys. And same on this side, relax onto my hand. Okay, great, thank you. Now I'm going to tap over your tummy, just where I've been feeling, to see if I can find the edge of the liver and the spleen. Lower border. And the upper border. I'll do the same for the spleen. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to have a feel in the centre of your tummy for the main artery that runs down called the abdominal aorta. So here I'm feeling to check that it's just pulsatile, which is normal, and not expansile, which would indicate an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Okay. Now I'm just going to have a listen. So I'd listen for up to two minutes to detect any bowel sounds. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. So that's the end of the examination. You can set yourself up and cover yourself up again now. Thank you. Cover this up for you. Okay. So um, to complete my examination. I would um, examine external genitalia, do hernial orifices, and the digital rectal examination. I could also assess for shifting dullness and to check for ascites in the abdomen. Um, so in summary, today I saw Ray and I examined his abdomen. On inspection, he was comfortable at rest. Um, his, there was no peripheral stigmata of abdominal pathology. His pulse was regular at 64 beats per minute. On palpation, um, his abdomen was soft and non-tender, with no masses or organomegaly. On um, auscultation, bowel sounds were present and normal. In summary, this is a normal abdominal examination. Okay, thank you. You go to the next station.